Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Marvel Now Artifacts Plus Magic from Kotobukiya. That's right, we're continuing on with our Marvel Now X Men team up in the Artifacts Plus style. So let's check out Magic. As you can see, she comes in that same style, fully enclosed box packaging with a great image of the statue right there on the front. And if you rotate that around to the side of the box, you've got the really great artwork that the statue within is based upon. Rotating the box around to the back side, we have a few turnarounds of the statue within, as well as a description. Now, just like with all of the other Kotobukiya Artifacts Plus statues, there is some minor assembly required once you pull her out of the box. You will notice that the upper body needs to be connected to the legs there. Uh, it's just solid pieces, one peg, easily hooks together, so it's very easy to kind of press those in, and it's a nice firm grip too, so once she's together, you don't really have to worry about her falling apart. And then you've got her soul sword, which actually just rests right under her hands. Now she's got a small little indent in the inside of her hands that the base of the sword kind of plugs into, and then it just rests on the bottom of her display base. Very easy to get her assembled, and once that's done, this is the display piece that we end up with. Now, I will also point out that just like all of the other Kotobukiya statues in the Artifacts Plus lineup, she does include the square black display base. And if you look at the bottom of her feet, she's got those nice embedded magnets. That way she just clings to the base very nicely. You can see it's a great cling there. You don't have to use pegs. That way she can stand anywhere you need her to on the base. And that works out really well when you pose her with the rest of the X-Men. Because then you can kind of have them overlapping bases. Whatever works best for your shelf. Now you see how I got the sword there. I noticed that she's, I noted that she's got that little hole on the underside of her palm there. So this just kind of hooks up underneath that there and then just uh, sits really nicely between the ground and her hands. Works out really, really well. So let's go ahead and talk about the details on this piece. Because Kotobuki is well known for their awesome sculpts and their beautiful paint deco. And you can see magic has been captured perfectly in this style. I love the way that her hair is kind of like this flat yellow there. Got those smooth bangs kind of hanging down in front of her whited out eyes. Got these great kind of uh, black pieces sticking out of the hair there. Looks really, really nice. Almost has a bit of a metallic to them. Bit glossy, you can see. Uh, and you can also kind of see that in the shoulder pauldron there. It's almost like she's got a, a bit of a wash, like a silvery wash on there that gives it a bit of a worn look, which is really cool. Got those great spikes sticking off there. Very pointy spikes. I really like that. And when you rotate over to the other shoulder, you can see the bright red X, or nice X-Men insignia there. Now, moving the way down the statue there, um, I do love the way that she's got both of her hands kind of resting on the Soul Sword's handle. I think that looks really cool, the way she's got them intertwined there. Uh, but well, more great details working around. You can see great uh, little details such as the belt buckle and all the little uh, studs in the belt. They're painted with a nice kind of metallic silver. And the same thing as we go down her long boots there. You got those long leggings and then you got the boots. All of this is done in sort of like a semi-metallic black. Has a bit of a gloss to it, a bit of a shine. You can see the straps going around are a different color black, much deeper. And then we got those nice silver buckles there as well. So really, really great details all the way around on this figure. She just turns out, turned out beautifully. And then we got that soul sword, which is very cool looking as well. Uh, you can see it's done in sort of a black and yellow color scheme, but the yellow has got a, a bit of a color variation there as well. You can see it's kind of a brighter yellow around the outside, almost like a glowing look, where the kind of the inner parts are more of a pale yellow. So very, very nice display piece and very unique. I just love the way she's standing there holding on to that sword like that while it's stuck in the ground. Really, really great look. So the statue is in the one-tenth scale, which means that she stands right at about seven inches tall, you can see. And she looks really great when we start matching her up with the rest of the Marvel Now X-Men. So we'll get some of those characters in here, just so you can see what they look like all posed together. Really, really, really great display. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the brand new Marvel Now Artifacts Plus Magic from Kotobukiya. I gotta give a special thanks to my friends at Kotobukiya for sending this along so we can get a good look at her outside of the packaging. For more information on Kotobukiya and their products, be sure to visit them online at www.kotous.com and give them a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash Kotobukiya. And hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you never miss out on a review. Until next time, my friends.